Good evening and welcome to the 8 o'clock news. I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor. Let's dive in straight to the headlines. 2,739 cases. But guess what? It's not even the peak yet. 1 lakh to 2 lakh cases. US took 26 days. India, just 11. Over a thousand people die for the second consecutive day. In Delhi, the much anticipated weekend curfew is in place now. NDTV spoke with the Chief Minister talking about solutions. He says no lockdown yet, but we'll have to implement if cases are not curbed. No in restaurant dining, only delivery, spas, gyms, malls to be closed. And they're not just numbers. Across India, thousands of families grieve. 10,600 and over deaths in April alone. Funeral staff working extra hours, some without pay as well. And Uttar Pradesh are taking Corona bomb now. A massive cover-up, it seems, after the video of a cremation leaks online. UP cases up by over 22,000. It is a new record for them. And while government is not implementing a lockdown, the markets have imposed a self-lockdown. No visitors is the advisory for Varanasi as well. The double mutation. Virus found in 10 states. Finally, the health ministry has agreed. Says still checking if double mutation is the reason for surge. In a relief, uh, the NEET examinations to be held this Sunday for the PG are now cancelled. Also relief for former JNU student Omar Khalid who gets bail in the Delhi riots case. He will now still be in jail, however. Citigroup uh, to exit the country, 12 global markets. Yeah, Rehman turns writer, film producer, 99 songs to release this Friday. And COVID precautions? Well, what's that really? Ugadi festivals are being celebrated in Andhra Pradesh, in this village at least. But COVID, what's that? Let's begin by bringing you some numbers now. That really is the best way to understand this pandemic. Look at this first graph on your screen right now and the peak it indicates. The first peak or the first wave as we've been calling it, September of 2020 versus now. And it's not even the peak yet. Over 2 lakh cases in one single day. Look at the next one now. US which is the worst impacted country with COVID-19, took 26 days to go from 1 lakh cases to 2 lakh cases. India, just 11. And why are we saying it is not even the peak yet? Because look at the testing figures. India, compared to the first wave, is testing only 22% more when our cases are up by 105%. And all this because of the R factor that we've been talking about. The one that indicates the reproduction rate of the virus. It's the highest right now in the year. 21st of April, if you see, a lakh and 38,000 and that time 15,000 active cases at the moment, much, much higher. And look at that, but here's why we keep saying it is not the peak because last 1 million have been added in just 19 days compared to the start of the pandemic where we took over 200 days to reach that figure. And then there is the positivity rate as well, an average of 12.3% today and just about when compared to earlier, 
12.5% was almost the figure back in 26th of July. And let's talk about deaths now. That's the figure that really, really should be bothering all of us. 10,655 deaths in the last 15 days. That is April alone. And over 8,000 deaths in 59 days of January and February. And if the numbers, these advisories that we are talking about, the anxiousness of the doctors, they don't convince you about how bad the situation is, maybe these visuals will. The next report we bring you is from various graveyards from across the country where families are bidding goodbye to their loved ones who lost their battle to COVID-19. Over 10,600 deaths in just this month. Families of the bereaved saying goodbye to their loved one from a distance one last time. As families come to terms of losing their loved one to COVID, some still in shock. With a rise in daily COVID deaths, now an average of 30 to 35 compared to 10 to 15 a month ago, crematoriums are running at full capacity. This time we have 3-4 days, 17 bodies, 17 bodies are coming every day. Authorities say the virus no longer discriminates the elderly or the young. अब ये स्टेज आ गई है कि 20 संस्कार डेली के हो रहे हैं कोरोना के कोविड के तो मैडम अब देखो आगे आगे स्थिति और बेकार होती जा रही है कुछ नहीं पता अपना यंग भी आ रहे हैं उसमें 40 साल के भी एज है उसमें 65 साल के भी एज है 60 साल के भी है उसमें और भी कम क्या जैसे इन्फेक्शन फैल रहा है या कोविड फैल रहा है उससे ज्यादा और ज्यादा हमें वो हो रहा है कि अपना भाई कैसे संभाल पाएंगे द हॉस्पिटल स्टाफ सो ओवरबर्डेंड एन एंबुलेंस राइडर वी स्पोक टू डिडंट इवन हैव द टाइम टू फिनिश व्हाट ही हैड टू से डेड बॉडी भी जी ज्यादा निकल रही है तो हम पे ज्यादा प्रेशर आ गया अब पहले एक आध चक्कर लग रहा अब पांच छह चक्कर लगाने पड़ते हैं निगमबोद के कब्रिस्तान के बिल्कुल वे मतलब टाइम नहीं मिलना है सुबह नाश्ता भी हो या ना दोपहर को खाना भी हम शाम को खाते हैं फैमिलीज या बॉडीज आई जस्ट क्रीमेटेड माय ग्रैंडफादर टुडे आई फील रियली सैड एंड इट वाज रियली अनफॉर्चुनेट व्हाट एवर हैपेंड ही डिड नॉट डिजर्व व्हाट हैपेंड इन द एंड विद हिम he even really didn't get to see his grandchildren in the end. People should take a COVID situation really seriously. They say when you lose a loved one, you lose your world. Helpless families not being able to say a final goodbye in the traditional way to their near ones. Perhaps a tragedy of living in these times. In New Delhi, with camera person and Ravi, Shunakshi Chakravarti for NDTV. And from crematoriums in Delhi to those in Karnataka and Bengaluru, graveyards are overburdened. Spare a minute for those who actually work there, seeing bodies pile up day after day, hour after hour, risking their lives as well. Add to that, some of them have not even received their salaries. Anthony, in his over 45-year career as a grave digger, has never seen bodies being brought in with this frequency. Bengaluru has seen over 400 deaths due to COVID in the last month alone. The COVID pandemic has made the work of the 65-year-old more stressful with the need for precautions with the bodies of those who died of COVID. But Anthony, like many of his colleagues in the profession, says he has not been paid for over a year. मुझे भी कोविड इफेक्ट हुआ था मैं भी तीन महीना हॉस्पिटल में पड़ा था गवर्नमेंट बीबीएमपी की तरफ से एक बूंद एक बूंद भी मदद नहीं मिला हमें अलरे कम से कम तेरह 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 साल से नहीं मिल रहा है साहब तेरह महीने से नहीं मिल रहा है 
तो हम क्या करें बच्चों का फीस कैसे भरे इलेक्ट्रिक बिल कैसे भरे पानी बिल कैसे भरे सब कुछ खरीदना पड़ता है कोरोना के समय उनके परिवार खुद अपनी बॉडी को जो साथ में उनके पिता हो भाई हो उनको हाथ नहीं लगा रहा था यही बंदा लोग सर दिन रात है कि उनके काम किया उन्होंने उठाया जो पूजा करना कर्म किया वो काम किया अभी तक इनको धन का एक पैसा भी नहीं मिल रहा Over 13,000 people have died due to COVID so far in Karnataka, with Bengaluru seeing almost 5,000 deaths. Karnataka's case fatality rate is now around 0.33 percent, but with the high number of cases, the number of deaths in real terms does, of course, rise. The government says the salary issue will be addressed as soon as possible. बरेल गुण में कोई बॉडीज को बर्न करते ना वो उसके वो लोग के बारे में पेमेंट अभी सात महीने से नहीं आया इससे मैं बीबीएमपी कमिश्नर को भी और सीनियर मोस्ट ऑफिसर गौरव गुप्ता की भी बात किया वो लोग बोलते श्री राम लाजर लिया पॉसिबल हम क्लियर करेंगे कर्नाटका सेकंड सर्ज ऑफ कोविड 19 अ टाइम ऑफ स्ट्रेस फॉर पेशेंट्स देयर फैमिलीज एंड फॉर मेनी अदर्स टू विद गोविंद मूर्ति माया शर्मा इन बेंगलुरु फॉर एनडी टीवी terrible desperate stories over there but let's shift our focus to the capital now which is the latest city to go into a weekend curfew with the numbers highest ever since the beginning of the pandemic perhaps a wise thing to do when you would say delhi recorded over 17000 covid-19 cases to become the worst affected city in the country leaving the financial capital mumbai far behind As the national capital recorded its highest single day surge in covid cases on Wednesday Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal has announced weekend curfew in Delhi to break the chain of transmission sabne milke ye nirnay liye hain ki weekend ke upar curfew Delhi ke andar lagaya jayega lekin weekend mein aksar jo log nikalte hain wo apne entertainment ke liye ya dusri activities ke liye nikalte hain jo ki curtail ki ja sakti hai jo ki चेन तोड़ने के लिए वीकेंड के ऊपर ताकि लोग ज्यादा संपर्क में ना आए वीकेंड के ऊपर कर्फ्यू लगाया जा रहा है लेकिन नॉट कॉलिंग इट अ लॉकडाउन बट ओनली रिस्ट्रिक्शंस द चीफ मिनिस्टर अनाउंस्ड व्हाट ऑल विल बी शट और बी पार्शली ओपन द वीकेंड लॉकडाउन विल बी फ्रॉम फ्राइडे टेन पी टू मंडे सेवन ए मॉल्स जिम्स एंड स्विमिंग पूल्स विल बी क्लोज नो डाइनिंग इन रेस्टोरेंट ओनली डिलीवरीज दे विल बी कर्फ्यू पासिस फॉर वेडिंग्स Cinemas can operate at 30% occupancy. Essential services are exempt from weekend curfew, and only one weekend market per day in one zone. We have to break the chain, hmm. and this is now spreading like a wildfire. You know, because these these curfews, of course, weekend there is a rush, so there is a more chances of spread. I think that is the theory behind having only the uh, weekend curfew. Of course, it will have some impact. there's a mixed response from the public it was necessary also to have a lockdown like that doing it on weekend weekend mostly offices are closed so mainly it is for the markets and other malls and all na sir bangal mein nahi ho rahe hain wahan bhi ho rahe hain wahan pehle karo wahan wahan rally juta rahe hain wahan bheed juta rahe hain bheed mein corona ek bhi hoga to charo taraf bispot hoga वहाँ नहीं हो रहा है पूरा मार्केट के तहस नहस कर दिए हैं छोटे मोटे जो हैं व्यापारी सब भाग रहे हैं गांव आफ्टर महाराष्ट्र द नेशनल कैपिटल ऑल्सो अनोन्स कर्फ्यू टू टैकल स्टीप प्राइस इन कोविड केसेस वेल पीपल इन दीज स्टेट्स अग्री विद द नीड फॉर सच रेस्ट्रिक्शंस टू फाइट द पैंडमिक दे ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन द अनबेटेड पोलिटिकल रैलीज इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड ऑल्सो रिलीजियस गैदरिंग्स इन अदर स्टेट्स विद कैमरा पर्सन शशि कांजा दिस इज अरविंद गुनसेकर फॉर एन डी And at NDTV, we believe in bringing you solutions. So we spoke with Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, and he clarified that he does not believe in lockdowns, but had no option. Also, that the lockdown, the weekend one, is only for this particular one, but could be extended if things and numbers do not come under control. I am lockdown के सख्त खिलाफ हूँ. अच्छा. मैं रेस्ट्रिक्शंस के सख्त सख्त खिलाफ हूं ये मैं पब्लिकली कई प्लेटफॉर्म से बोल चुका हूं जब भी आप ये एसेस करते हैं कि कोरोना बहुत तेजी से बढ़ रहा है और आपका हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर उस तेजी से उसको हो सकता है संभाल ना पाए तो आपको टेम्पररी बेसिस पे लॉकडाउन और रेस्ट्रिक्शंस लगा देने चाहिए 
ताकि कोरोना की स्पीड कम हो जाए लोग अपने अपने घर में चले जाएं कोरोना की इन्फेक्ट इन्फेक्शन होने वालों की स्पीड कम हो जाए और आप अपने हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को संभाल सकें and it's not just delhi one state that has really got alarm bells ringing is uttar pradesh on wednesday the state crossed over a lakh active infection mark and the numbers are only surging a particular concern is the capital lucknow where the highest case load has been seen and while delhi and maharashtra government stopped and stepped in to impose curbs lucknow markets have gone into a self imposed lockdown that's how bad things really became Meanwhile, Prime Minister's constituency Varanasi, the UP government announced and asked people not to visit. As Lucknow's COVID cases surged to record highs, a cover-up less than 24 hours after this horrifying video from Lucknow's main COVID crematorium. This is Lucknow's main COVID crematorium, from where those images have gone viral. While no on-record version is available about why it has been done, there's a notice there. that says that this is a covid-19 uh, affected area and one cannot enter without permission and that anyone who enters this area without permission there will be legal action against that person lucknow now has 31000 plus active covid cases just two weeks ago active cases were at 1/10 of this number in the city's major markets an unprecedented self imposed lockdown for the next few days by trader associations so why is this situation unprecedented one reason is that this shutdown of markets by lucknow traders goes against the stated up government policy where they have decided not to impose any day lockdown despite the covid surge in up which is they say that it will lead to economic distress the employees working with the shopkeepers and the shopkeepers at large had a feeling that we as a citizens should also do something because this pandemic uh, has uh, spurred in a very rapid way in last couple of days so everyone suggested that at least we should curb on the active marketing uh, activities in kanpur where active covid cases have gone up 1500% in 2 weeks to 6447 this desperate daughter unable to find a bed for her ailing mother at the government covid hospital yahan pe yahan pe pehle ha ho jayega ho jayega letter dikhaiye agar aapke paas nahi to aap seedhe boliye ki mere paas jagah nahi hai aap letter ka matlab nahi banta na fir letter dikhaiye pehle aapko letter 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 mangwaya letter dikhaya ab jagah nahi hai yahan pe kahi bhi bed nahi hai kahi bhi bed nahi hai hum keh rahe hain bed nahi hai are bahar mein jaye bed kam se kam zameen mein laga ke bistar laga ke पेशेंट को ट्रीटमेंट तो दीजिए या एक केस नहीं है बहुत सारे केस ऐसे लोग रोड पे घूम रहे हैं ले लेके अपने पेरेंट्स को अपने इन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदीज लोकसभा कंस्टिट्यूएंसी वाराणसी वेयर एक्टिव कोविड केसेस क्रॉस 10000 ऑन वेडनेसडे फ्रॉम जस्ट 550 2 वीक्स अगो दिस अपील बाय द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट आस्किंग विजिटर्स बोथ डोमेस्टिक एंड फॉरेन टू अवॉइड कमिंग टू द सिटी टिल अप्रैल एंड एंट्री टू द सिटीज मोस्ट फेमस रिलीजियस साइट The Kashi Vishwanath Temple will be allowed only after a COVID negative report. With Arun Agarwal and camera person Rajesh Gupta, this is Alok Pandey, NDTV. You'll be definitely a ticking bomb over there. But why is the second wave so bad? Much, much worse. Where well, we've been saying this for a while, but today finally the health ministry agreed that it is due to the massive spread of a cocktail of variants and mutants that are out in the country. the ministry qualified that the double mutation present is in at least 10 states six states are known that is the double mutant is currently in maharashtra delhi west bengal gujarat karnataka madhya pradesh currently 60% of the cases in maharashtra are of the double mutants no double mutant cases in mumbai so far is what they say but the rising trend of uh, the double mutants in the country is a worrying one mutants also play a role in increasing cases and not 100% responsible for the rise in cases this is what the ministry is saying so far and more will be known only after we do more genome sequencing numbers on your screen but remember our genome sequence is extremely low and analysis is still going on about the mutants role in causing death severity and the infection reinfections as well जैसे कि हमें पता है कि यूके के जो हम लोग वेरिएंट कहते आ रहे हैं बी वन वन सेवन जिसमें सत्रह म्यूटेशन एक साथ है और वो थोड़ी तेज़ी से अंदर आ सकती है इसलिए 
वो जो स्प्रेडिंग की जो आर नंबर जो ज़्यादा हम लोग कह रहे थे ना कि ज़्यादा तेजी से वो फैलती है समाज में तो यू के के बारे में तो ये पता चल गया था कि थोड़ा ज़्यादा ट्रांसमिसिबल है नहीं डबल म्यूटेंट के ऊपर जो अभी के, के विशेषण अभी चल रहा है आने वाले एक दो हफ्ते में उसके बारे में पता चलेगा कि सही में डबल म्यूटेंट थोड़ा ज़्यादा तेजी से फैल रहा है या नहीं फैल रहा है बट यू नो हाउ मेनी जीनोम सिक्वेंसिंग वी एक्चुअली डू इन द कंट्री इट्स ऑलमोस्ट पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉजिटिव केसेज इफ यू डोंट इवन नो आर एनिमी हाउ आर वी टू फाइट इट एंड दिस इज अ मेजर कंसर्न But let's move on now to Madhya Pradesh, where a family in Shivpuri alleged that a COVID patient died after the hospital staff pulled out his oxygen support at night. The family claims the oxygen support of the patient was removed to give it to another patient, adding that no doctor visited the patient as well. First, the administration there denied the lapse, but then this CCTV footage emerged, and now a probe has been ordered. Shocking story of insensitivity from Chhattisgarh as well, where a garbage van was used to ferry the dead body of a COVID patient. Pictures there show how sanitation workers lifting the body and literally dumping it in the van. The chief medical health officer said it's the responsibility of the Nagar Panchayat. At the end of the day, this is what's happening to those who's who are losing their life to coronavirus. But also, at the same time, juxtaposed to those visuals coming to us from the crematoriums are these celebrations. Celebrations in times of a pandemic. Andhra Pradesh, recording over 4,000 cases per day at a village in Kurnool district, the Ugadi celebration looked like this. No social distancing, no masks, everybody just packed together with literally no space between them and just playing away in over here. This has been a ritual for over years in villages where cow dung cakes are flung at each other but the shocking part is why such a celebration was even allowed Exactly visuals like these we saw during holy remember and now we are seeing the outcome Moving on to some news of relief for the day which came in for the NEET PG exam aspirants which now stand postponed those exams were to be held this Sunday and the health minister announced that he in light of the covid situation he is now postponing them the, the date for the next one to be decided a little later In other news city group uh, is now to exit India 12 other global consumer banking markets as well and this is while they decide to focus on wealth management they said and i quote don't have the scale we need to compete in a country like india their banking focus will be now in singapore hong kong london and uae and finally celebrations uh, have been coming in as the much uh, celebrated music composer and oscar winner everybody's favorite ar rahman now dons the filmmaker's hat his debut film production 99 songs a musical film releases tomorrow and the muzat of uh, madras spoke to ndtv sam daniel about the project i think post oscars you know i had a lot of time to learn many things so one of the things i learned was you know story writing and the the structure and characters and all the stuff and of course uh learning from life from different people you see different communities see and there are loads of stories floating about so i was thinking why don't we culminate all this stuff have this different layers in a movie which is a musical i for, i want this to have a new voice that's that's how we started uh, let's make movies for the world from india and also have a different voice in india so that um and also have a, a movie with an experience uh, as a as a base that's all we could pack in this edition of news